criminals leading law enforcement on high speed chases. It's something that we see often here in the Houston area. And a lot of these chases come to a violent end when the driver crashes into another car. Tonight, the Houston Police Department is testing a maneuver that officers can use that will keep other drivers safe. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon spent some time in the HPD Training Academy and is joining us live tonight with what she's learned there. Roseanne? That's right, police deal with these chases every day. The goal is to get the suspect's car to a complete stop safely, and it's a pretty controlled maneuver if done right. To the crooks out there that like to run from the police, if you're, especially if you're in your own wheels, I got news for you. We now just added another tool to bring you to justice. It's called the pit maneuver. In a demonstration here at the Houston Police Department's Training Academy, they show us how it works. Of course, I volunteered to ride along. Thank you so Be much. sure to put your seatbelt on. All right, here we go. Officer Stephen Perry and I were in the car that was being chased. So far, so good. Until the pit maneuver. What we're trying to do is gently push the rear of the vehicle and then disrupt the traction of the suspect vehicle to get them to lose control and push them off to the side of the road. See how easy that was? Yeah. Let's watch it again from what would be the police car. This officer says it's about judgment. Maybe good at that point in time, but five seconds later, it's not, then okay, you can't do it. The move should be gentle. It. If you notice, look, he's just one lane over. The chief says too many people try to run. In the span of five years, the department has done 4,800 chases, injuring 32 officers, 1,000 suspects, and 6,000 bystanders. He hopes this training will bring those numbers down and deter crime. We owe it as a police department to them and to our own families to provide our officers with every tool available to them to try to end this pursuit in a manner where everyone gets to either go home or to jail. Officers will be selected to take the 10 hour course for certification. Those courses start next month. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.